up, YouTube and Facebook? This is your boy, CJ, you guys, and I'm back with another review. That's right, I'm back with another review. Today, you guys, I decided I want to do a review on the new Tyler Perry movie, A Fall From Grace. And if you have not seen it, it's now streaming on Netflix, so head over whenever you get a chance and watch it. Um, but jump right into the video, guys. The movie overall, guys, I liked it. I really did. I felt like it's, I, I wouldn't say it's a must-see, but it's worth seeing. Um, I, um, I, I, I love the cast. I really did. I love Felicia Rashad, Cicely Tyson, Crystal Fox, Brisha Wells, Tyler Perry himself was also in the movie, and also Mika, Mika Brooks, Mr. Brooks. I can never say his name right, you guys, so forgive me, but Mr. Brooks. And, I, and overall, you guys, I, I, I really did like the movie. But what I, my do's and my, my likes and my dislikes, rather, of the movie, um, I want to start off with my dislikes and then roll into my likes. The dislikes of the movie, I, I, the production of it was kind of poor. Um, I felt like the lighting should have been better. Uh, the acting should have been a little more, a little more, um, a little more, how can I say this? Tyler Perry, I feel like you should not have played the boss, okay? I don't feel like you should have played the boss in the movie, Ben, the fact that you were the boss, but on top of that, the fact that you were trying to portray as the boss, it was kind of funny, <laughs> to me anyway, because I remember it was a, uh, I remember it was a moment in the movie where you, where she, uh, where Jasmine walked into your office, and she walks out, and you yell, coffee, coffee, and it was like, I, I must have laughed so hard on that, because I was like, really, Tyler, you're going to be the boss? And you are already the boss, but um, I dislike I dislike that role that you put yourself in. Uh, I know that you are the boss, but for that particular role, I disliked it. Um, I also dislike the the fact that Cicely Tyson, you guys, she is a legend in the game, and I really hate the fact that she had that little split that little split time that she did have in the movie. Um, I do get that she is ninety five years old, so I know her age might have played a lot in it. He wanted to accommodate that. And I'm pretty sure she got accommodated also financially on the other end because of the little time that she was on it. But I did want to see Cicely just a little bit more. Um, because, you know, she's Cicely Tyson. I mean, you don't want to just throw, you know, put in a move for like 30 seconds or, you know, five minutes. Um, but I do, love, I do love the way that she played the... I love her role in the movie. I love the way that she kind of helped bring things to light in so many words. Um... Um, I definitely disliked it, the acting when it came to Gray, uh, Grace and Shannon. I really, I did not feel the chemistry there. Um, I remember there was a moment in the movie where they went out to, uh, where he was taking her out and he proposed to her and then the fire, the fireflies were to emerge and you could just actually see that it looked like blinking lights. So to me, that's just was like, Tyler, really, it's noticeable. I can see it. Um, also... I, like I said earlier, there wasn't no chemistry there for me. I didn't feel like it was real chemistry. I just, I really felt like that they were acting. Um, I felt like Shannon, um, I felt like it was too dramatic. It didn't flow. It, it wasn't like a flow with the anger or with the, the way they were feeling wasn't a flow with it. It was more like I'm acting, cut, back to it. Um, I did not, I really, I mean, I like the concept of his role. But I feel like he could have got somebody better. Uh, not so much as better, because better will almost indicate he's not a good actor. Actor, and we all know that that's not that's not true. Um, but I do feel like he should have. It should have been more chemistry there. Um, I also disliked when they were at the dine. Look, you guys, they went out for dinner, and the extra and it's, it's the extra actually sitting in the restaurant, eating invisible food and drinking invisible water. Or drink or whatever he was drinking, it was invisible. We don't know, but I felt like really, Tyler, you did not see that in your editing or whoever doing your editing. They did not notice that the extra was back there being extra. Like, come on now, let's be one hundred. Um, but I, it's not really too much that I didn't like about it. Um, it taught me, you guys, that you need to watch who you hang around because. Everybody that claim to be your friends really may not be your friends. Everybody that claim they got your back may not really have your back. Um, and people might come into your life just to see what they can take out of it. So it really opened my eyes and it gave a life perspective on how we should review and accept people into our lives. Um, what I also liked about it was 
most of the Tyler Perry movies, you guys, to me, are predictable. Like, I can I, I can be watching it, and it's either something that we have already seen by Tyler Perry, because, you know, Tyler Perry had a moment where he took his stage plays, and he inv and he kind of put them into movies, and so you can, you if you ever saw his stage plays, and then you watched the movie that was connected, it was like, almost predictable, because you saw the stage play, but you have to really understand what I mean, if you know Tyler Perry, he started off in stage plays, then he went into movies, so... It was like it was almost predictable for me, um, but this movie really did keep keep me on the edge of my seat. It kept me on the edge of my seat, rather. But at the same time, I was still able to pull out moments of the movie where I was like, okay, well, this put me in the mind of this particular movie that he did, or this put me in the mind of this particular movie that he did. And you guys, I mean, hey, it is what it is. But um, overall. The movie kept me on the edge of my seat, you guys. I'm talking about I had to watch it twice. Because the first time I watched it, it was like I was just watching it. And I was like in disbelief. Because when I tell y'all, I really thought I had everything figured out. When I was seeing a little more, I was like, oh, okay. So, this and that. And then when it really, when SHIT really hit the fan, I was like, I got to watch this again. So, I had to watch it again. Felicia Rashad, I mean, Felicia Rashad, who played the role of Sharon, uh, Sarah, I'm sorry in the movie, she did a phenomenal job. Uh, because, like I said, I'm so used to seeing Felicia Rashad play this nice and clear Huxley role, that to see her play this naive, vicious, little, you know, evil person. I kind of like that, you know, Tyler Perry made her dig a little deep to be a little evil. Um, I love, 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 love the way Tyler Perry did the plots and the twists and the things that he did to, to bring us back to reality or who really was the snake. So, you guys, I didn't want to give too much of the movie out because I do want people to go and see it. And I don't want to take away from what you might experience from it or what you might like. So, I don't want to take that from you. But I do highly recommend that you guys, you know, take some time out and look at the movie. Again, it's not a must-see, but you might want to see it. Um, and make sure you guys leave a comment if you've already seen the movie. Make sure you guys leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think of this video. And also, you let me know if there is anything that you might want to see me review. Also, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you not if you have not hit that subscribe button. Again, you guys, this is CJ and it's been real.